so few turkey hunters are even getting up to that bag limit, especially in the states where we enjoy a higher bag limit that it's it's kind of inconsequential. And this isn't just specific to turkeys, but across most hunted species, what we see is the number one factor affecting level of harvest is season length. It's more of like hunter opportunity, how much opportunity they have to hunt the species versus what the bag limit is. Uh, yeah. I got to ask about this. Again, stirring the pot. Okay, when it comes to bag limits, yeah. right, a lot of people will say, uh, well, if you just reduce the bag limit, there you go. Like that's a, a surefire way to say you can't kill four turkeys you can only kill two and so that's going to limit the number of turkeys that are getting killed hence helping with the population decline going back to harper's research the number of people who are actually limiting every year is so small where from my perspective it seems like if you're lowering that bag limit you're kind of just hurting the guys who do hunt all year and they yeah. really love to turkey hunt and you're probably not actually making an impact on the overall harvest number yeah am i on track there yeah. do you agree it goes even further beyond that uh -oh. So uh, there's a there's paper published recently um, out of Mike Chamberlain's lab at the University of Georgia. Patrick Whiteman was also involved in that paper. Um, there's some other papers that are starting to recently come out because with all this interest around male turkey harvest, a lot of people are starting to look at that. Like traditionally, we've always studied the hen uh, because she's typically the bottleneck. And I would argue in many cases she still is, like we were talking about earlier, in, in nest success and brood survival and ultimately recruitment is, is what's affecting these populations the most. But because of all these male harvest questions, more and more males getting tagged these days, studies coming out about it. And these studies, man, I tell you, like over multiple southeastern states, and you know when you lump multiple southeastern states into a pot, like the mixture of regulations that that represents, like different lengths, different starting times, different bag limits, you go on down the list of all the things that differ across these states and what we are consistently seeing in almost every population regardless of those regulations is that hunters kill about 30 percent of the adult males in any given year i don't think the bag limit really changes things that much i mean just because those all those states represent you know anything from i'm trying to think of all the ones that were included i think there was a range of like uh two up to three or four birds you know something like that and then all the differences and starting of timing and season length and all that and we consistently see that about 30 percent of the adult males are getting harvested and so i don't know exactly why that is it seems like maybe that there's just some tipping point beyond which even if you have really high hunting pressure that uh it's just hard to kill another bird past that mark but that number tends to come out again and again now, we can talk also about the psychological impact that changing a, ba a bag limit potentially has on a hunter and, and how they change their behavior, you know, based off of that as well. But, and it's probably also, you know, more so than anything for the reason that you mentioned is just that so few turkey hunters are even getting up to that bag limit, especially in the states where we enjoy a higher bag limit, that it's, it's kind of inconsequential. Right. Yeah. I, mean, I could go down a rabbit hole on that, but yeah, I, I like my higher back, which I've never limited on turkeys in Alabama. For yeah. He has. Yeah. I have not. Yeah. My, the last year that we had a five bird bag limit, I killed three. Yeah. And I was like, I was really trying to get my five. Yeah. I couldn't do it. Yeah. Couldn't do it. But in most, of, and this isn't just specific to turkeys, but across most hunted species, what we see is the number one factor affecting level of harvest is season length. It's more of like hunter opportunity, how yeah. much opportunity they have to hunt the species versus what the bag limit is. Yeah, if you're a weekend warrior, I mean, even as long as Alabama season is, yeah. it's not a – you're not getting a ton – like you're not getting 10, 12 hunts no. or anything like yeah. that. If you're a weekend warrior, yeah. you're getting five, six maybe, yeah. depending. Um, and I think that's where a lot of turkey hunters fall into that category because, like, I, I hunt a lot. That's the reason why I was able to kill birds <laughs> and also time it right because yeah. there's a lot of missed opportunities. But it's like some of the best turkey hunters I know in the state of Alabama – most of them have a lot more time to hunt than the average guy. It's yeah. not like you're going out every hunt and killing a bird. Yeah. So, but there's a bunch of guys that hunt every morning. Yeah. That it's not, you know, completely inclement weather, you know, really bad stuff. Absolutely. Trying to, you know, hunt a couple hours before going to work. Yeah. Um, I just thought of so many other questions, but I, we don't have time to get to it. 